Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Sandra Solomon Fragrance. Hi. So today we have something really exciting for you guys. So there are beautiful fragrances out there. Yeah. There are amazing, there are elegant, there are sexy fragrances, but not all of them are addictive. No. So with addictive fragrances, I mean those that when you spray them on, you cannot stop sniffing yourself. Yeah. In other words, they are so damn good in such a unique way that you sort of become obsessed. Yeah. So I have chosen six fragrances for men slash unisex. I mean, put on whatever you want. Uh, and you have chosen six as well, right? Yes, I have. And they are mostly for women, but there mm. are also some that men can wear. Mm. So my first pick is a tobacco. I absolutely love the scent of tobacco. And this is one tobacco that I'm simply addicted to. I just can't stop sniffing myself <laughs> when I spray this one on. And the one I'm talking about is Parfums de Marlis. Herod, please spray it please on. Please let me. So Herod is really a sweet tobacco. I'm yes. almost gonna say like a super sweet tobacco, yeah. but it's sweet done right. And it has that Parfums de Marley vanilla that I'm absolutely addicted to. So, uh, I mean, I just can't stop sniff sniffing myself <laughs> when I spray this one on. How do you, and I was almost like going, getting high when you spray that on. <laughs> yeah. That's how good it is. Have you thought about that? I have been quiet this whole time. Just Ooh. That's how good it, it is. Um, and what I think about this tobacco is that it's exactly as you said, it's very sweet, it's perfect, but I think it's kind of a wet tobacco. Mm, yes, true. And um, as goes for sexiness, mm. this is incredibly sexy and incredibly elegant. And yeah, you can stop sniffing the person mm. wearing this. So do you um, understand my addiction to this perfume? If you um, wouldn't have chose this, mm. I would have. Ah, so you were also addicted to it? Yes. Uh, okay. This is like, I think this is one of the first fragrances that I ever mm. got addicted to. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. It's so good. So this, my pick was something that both you and I are addicted to. Yeah. Uh, so how do you, um, how, what are the vibes you get from this one? Um, sexiness, elegance, luxury. Um, yeah, just a perfect fragrance. And I think I'm gonna add sexiness, a hint of elegance, and definitely a dash of rebel on top. This to me, <laughs> <Of course. laughs> this to me has something that is a bit above the rest. It has yeah. some attitude. It's not just like a sweet tobacco that no. is really polite and gentle no. and all that. No. no, this one has a bit of attitude to it. I just love this one uh, and I can highly recommend it to you. Let's move on to your first one. So my first pick is one that I think was the second fragrance I ever got addicted mm. to. And uh, I will always have this one in my collection and that is Casablanca Lily mm. from Byredo. And I can easily say that according to me, this is the best one from Byredo. Mm -hmm. And I can't stop sniffing myself, I can't stop spraying this on, which is a really bad thing because it's so expensive. So. Mm. Yeah, I empty this bowl all, mm. all yeah, way too quickly. Yeah, you recently bought a new one. Yeah, I did. Yeah. Uh, so I'm trying not to overdose, <laughs> but it's hard. Let's spray it Let's on. Let's spray it on, yeah. So this has the most beautiful notes of tuberose, not that clawing, too much kind of tuberose, just an elegant tuberose. My favorite fruity note, plum mm. and some honey. Mm. And this is, I mean, you feel so elegant wearing this and you just can't stop sniffing yourself yeah this one is i think this one is truly well balanced so it has a floral aspect but i don't consider this like a massive floral kind of perfume no and it has a slight hint of something sweet at least to my nose yeah it does um, and i think all the different components in this one helps bring it to what it is, which is a really sort of well-balanced, elegant, and well-made perfume. Yes. Um, I think this one is, uh, 
an excellent choice for someone who wants like a, a luxurious, elegant kind of perfume. Yes. Uh, this one is more, um, at least to me, a more female leaning perfume. Yes, I agree. Um, yeah, I really agree. This mm. is definitely for women. Um, maybe some guy can rock it, but I think it's yeah. a feminine, beautiful one. So let's put it this way. If you are looking for a beautiful, elegant, uh, light flora, at least to me, with a slight hint of something sweet yeah. that is really well balanced, elegant and classy. Make sure you put your nose to this one. So here's the thing. This was really hard. It was hard. It wasn't hard to find six fragrances that I'm addicted to, but it was hard to sort of narrow things down and uh -huh. actually pick six <clears throat> out of all the ones I'm addicted to. Yeah. But at first when I took a look at it, I was like, okay, I just love this one, but am I addicted? Yes. And then I put my nose to it <laughs> and I was like, yeah. <laughs> Oof. I mean, spray it on. Yes. So uh, the one I'm talking about is Bayredo Space Rage. Uh, this is a limited edition. I keep saying this, this is a limited edition. So you might have a hard time finding it, but uh, at least according to you and me, this is really similar to Pulp. Yes. I believe they were inspired by Pulp. I actually feel that they sort of just bottled it in this bottle and called yeah. it Travis X Scott and Space they, uh... Rage actually said in the store that Travis Scott uh, was inspired by yeah. Pulp because that's his favorite yeah. one from Byredo. Yeah, and interesting though uh, at, as well is that when we talked to different people in different Byredo stores, half of them were like, yeah, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. And then half were like, no, it's not the same. No, it's very different. Yeah, and I was like, come on. Yeah. Half of your staff thinks it's the same one. <laughs> and so, I can feel it myself. So yeah, like, yeah. Do you take me for an idiot? <laughs> but here's the thing. Uh, this is, I forgot all about the nose. I believe it has a bit of musk in it, but the main key thing here is that sweet ripe fruit yes. blend. This is truly, truly unique. And there's something about, and it has this sort of a fizzy sparkling side to it. It does. Uh, it just pops. It's Fizzles, I don't know if that's a correct thing to describe a perfume, <laughs> but I just love it. It's so unique and I can't stop sniffing myself. No, this is so wonderful. And every time you have this on, I'm like, oh, I want to smell like that. And yeah, and it is a, a head turner for sure it because is. people are not used to this kind of scent. No. So whenever I put it on, uh, people just go, whoa, what's going <laughs> on? What was that? Uh, I just love this one. I can't stop sniffing myself. I actually got to get myself a bottle of pop because yeah. I'm sort of a... I need to use this one more, but I'm a bit like... You it's can't a, finish this. Yeah, I don't want to finish it. No. So I got to get myself a bottle of pop. I can highly recommend this to you. Do not get it if you do not enjoy fruity fragrances. No. But if you enjoy, so enjoy sort of a fruity, a sweet fragrances, make sure you try this one out. Every time I'm going to do a new fragrance top list, mm. this is the one I always want to have on it. Mm -hmm. But I can't have it in any, every top list. Mm. Um, so I Oof. keep coming back to Misty or Other Parfum, the one that, that got Spray out in 2021. Spray it on right now. Yes, I'm going to. Do not to. wait. Oh, it's so good. Do you this remember is, the notes? Yes, there is some beautiful rose and some beautiful vanilla in this. And it's just crazy elegant. I always overspray it and I can't stop sniffing myself. Mm. And he's addictive too. Yeah, this no, is... No, this I is said like you're a... addictive. I meant that you're addicted. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, I think this is uh, an amazing one uh, and I cannot remember what I gave it in my review of it. I'm going to link to my review of it above, so please do check that one out. Uh, this one to me is just, it has a floral side to it, I believe a musky side, something yeah. musky, slightly powdery at the base yeah. and a hint of something sweet and the sweetness to me at least has a bit of honey to it. Yeah, Which... I think there's some like apricot or peach in mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I could be wrong, but I won't remember that. But the thing is, when you put your nose to this one, you feel that it's it's a beauty. 
but the way this thing sort of uh, spreads and lingers in the air is magical and i'm gonna say it's almost sexier in the air when you smell it off someone else yeah. than when you sniff it like this yeah. so yeah if if i had a girlfriend i would pray or maybe try and you would buy her. it for her. Yeah, I would buy it for her, but yeah. pray that she would end up loving it. Yeah. Yeah. It would be uh, too bad. <laughs> I love this one. I think it's an amazing. If you are looking for a stunning, quite sexy and addictive fragrance for women, do not sleep on this one. Get your nose on it pronto. So my next pick is an epic one. I will always, always love this one. Unfortunately, I don't think I will always, always have a bottle of it because I'm like halfway through this bottle and I'm not sure how the new bottles compare to this one. I guess I just got to buy mm. a new bottle and compare them. Yeah. Uh, but this is this to me is magical juice. Pretty much everyone that who gets a whiff of it when I spray it on ends up giving me a compliment. It fills up room in an amazing way. It's so damn addictive. I'm talking about Dior Arm Intense. Spray it on. Do not over spray right now because <laughs> I want to keep keep having so that. So I was just thinking that there is a a huge problem mm -hmm. since you said this is no longer available mm. so if i ever get a, a boyfriend girlfriend i was about to say girlfriend Whoa. if i ever get a Do you boyfriend want to share something <laughs> no but i want him to have this so i might have to rob you of this one mm -hmm. to give to him this one is not you can still find it but uh, i believe that uh, sort of um there might have been some changes to the juice so you can still find it the question is how exact how, how identical is it to this bottle yeah so you will be able to buy it to your boyfriend uh. so do you get my do you understand my addiction for this one yes i do because i'm addicted to uh, addicted you are. to it as well uh, okay yeah so what kind of vibe do you get from this one this is incredible. It is very sexy, but it's very, very elegant. Mm. This is, <clears throat> to me, a dressed up fragrance. Ah. Uh, I'm sure you can wear it with whatever clothes, but when I smell this, I think of a well-dressed man. Mm. Yeah. And I can confirm that, yes, I do think it's like a... To me, this is something that is sexy, but in a sort of elegant way. But you don't have to be dressed up. I had this one uh, with a suit and tie. And I had it with like a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. And I also had this one naked. So you can <laughs> rock this one any way you want. And it doesn't matter how you rock it because you are going to smell insanely good. Uh, I'm addicted to this one. I can highly recommend it to you. Let's move on to the next one. Up next is an addictive one, but mm. not for everyone, mm -hmm. because some hate this. But I love it, and I can't stop smelling myself when I have it on. And that is Oud Isfahan Whoa. from Dior. You went to Oud Isfahan. Yes, I am I did. impressed. Because when I have this on, I can't stop smelling myself. When I smell it the first times, I was like, what is that? Mm. It's disgusting, but it's also beautiful, and I just can't figure it out. Mm. So I just keep on sniffing it. So Spray yes, it on. I am addicted. So this one to me is elegance and dirtiness. Yes. It's something classy and something naughty, all yeah. at the same time. And whoa. <laughs> This to me is like a perfect rebel. This is so damn amazing. It is. Uh, and I can understand your addiction because it has a lot of the fragrances that I absolutely am 100%, 1000% in love with have two sides, which I, which I, which I, which I, which I usually talk about. Yeah. So something, it could be like something elegant usually it's something elegant and something dirty to it yeah and i just love those two sides dancing around each other uh so uh, it could be like one moment you're getting away for something like mm, this is nice and posh this is a beautiful yeah and then you're going like what the heck is this dirtiness i kind of like it yeah and that's exactly how i feel when i put on Oud Ispahan. yeah and the beautiful side 
of this one is the rose note together with, I guess it's cardamom or cinnamon. Mm -hmm. uh, and the dirty side is, of course, the oud. Mm. Yes. Um, definitely one of the best from Dior and one of the most unique fragrances I have ever yes, smelled. Yes, definitely. This is a head turner. This is something is. that not a lot of people have on. No. So if you want the head turner, something truly unique, rose, oud, dirtiness, sexiness, elegance, class, then get this one. Do you have anything to add in regards to this um, one? Yes, do not care if others don't like this because yes. it's about your addiction yes. and not theirs. And uh, I mean, you obviously feel that it's for women because you bought it, but do you feel it's equally sexy and elegant and classy and dirty on a man? Yes. This ah, okay. is definitely unisex. Ah, okay. Yeah. So yeah, that was Oud Ispahan. This is Tom Ford's ombre leather. So we have that unique leather, at least to me, uh, together with a bit of jasmine and a few other notes. And it's just, it's just so damn good. It's so good. Yeah. This is one of the most elegant leather fragrances I have ever smelled. Um, <clears throat> you can wear it with anything and you will smell great. Yeah. And this is also one of the leather fragrances that I think you can wear um, and just expect people to like how you smell, even if they don't like leather. Mm, yeah, I'm in heaven. This one does something to me. I think it's insanely good. It's insanely sexy. It has a bit of class as well, a bit of elegance as well. If you love the scent of leather, then I can highly recommend it to you. And if you, if you are sort of starting out and you are not yet sure of on, on what you like, you want to try leather, then I yeah. can highly recommend ombre leather. Most people think this smells amazing on me. Yeah. So are you addicted to it as well? Yes, I am. Whoa! Yes. So you have been, you are addicted to almost every single one that I chose so far. Yeah. Amazing. So uh, do you think this is for men only? Can a woman have it? I think a woman can have it, mm. but I prefer it on a man. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the next one. This fragrance is one that I am addicted to and obviously many others as well, because mm. this always brings in compliments. Yes. And that is Rouge Malachite from Armani Privé. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. This is Spray so on. good. And it has, to me, this smells a lot of almonds, but it doesn't have mm -hmm. any almond notes. But what it has is a huge dose of tuberose. Yeah, yeah. And this is extremely elegant, beautiful, um, dressed up, and just perfect and really unique. Mm. So this one to me is like pure luxury. And yeah, it does cost quite a bit. It does. So it is like a luxury yeah. perfume, but you really can pick out how luxuriant it is when you put your nose to it. Yes. And I love that sort of a spicy, aromatic, bright opening and the way that it, make, it blends with the florals and that sort of amberish um, uh, base that it has. It's, yeah. it's so beautiful. It's not too deep in any way, it's not cloying. It's just perfect in a truly unique yeah. way. I have not put my nose to anything like this. No, and this is, uh, as you said, not cloying, but it is deep and rich. Mm. And I would say that the floral mix of jasmine and tuberose is like perfection. Yeah, uh, so who is this for? When is it for? Me. <laughs> Every day, me. No. Um, actually, I, I don't think this is maybe a teenager fragrance, but I mean, a young woman and uh, all the way to the grave. <laughs> Ah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a pretty good. And I would say that it's definitely for a woman. Yes, yes, I, I do agree. Uh, and I think uh, the, the first thing I think about this, some some a woman that is really well dressed um, with an amazing outfit and then just the scent of lux luxury yeah. all over her. Yeah. Um, but uh, if you if you have the money, if you want a truly fantastic blend, uh, that will get you compliments, that will make you stand out in a crowd that to me is a mix of something elegant and with a hint of sexiness to it. 
I mean, you gotta make sure to try this one out. Yeah. So I keep yapping about how Jean-Paul Gaultier knows how to create those sort of sexy, fun and playful kind of fragrances. Yeah. And this one to me is, it has a huge dose of sexiness, but it also has a touch of elegance to it. But more importantly, I was addicted from the first sniff. I mean, we, we should, we're not gonna go into how addicted I was, but let's just put it this way. I, I could not stop talking about it. No. And you heard me talk about it a lot. Yes, and I was like, why don't you just go yeah. buy that damn fragrance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the one and only, this is Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal Le Parfum. Here you go. So this one to me is really focused on uh, a powdery blend with the focus on this vanilla. Yes. And this vanilla in this one is, I don't know, skip it to me. No. <laughs> no, I think this is so incredible. And I think that uh, it has the original aromatic uh, notes from, from La Mal, but they are toned down and the vanilla is amped up. Yeah. In the most luxurious and elegant way and yes. sexy way. This is probably, this is most definitely, it might actually be my number one favorite from the house of Jean Paul Gaultier. Oh. It might be. Um, Better it, than Superman. Uh, mm, yeah, probably. Superman is amazing, but it's definitely at the top. I just love this one. This one to me is addictive. And the fun thing about this one is that it's also addictive to pretty much everyone who gets away from it. So this is one where if you are a man and you put this one on and a woman gets a whiff of it, chances are quite high that she will go like <laughs> really close. Uh, it's so addictive in such a sweet and beautiful way. This is so good. It's sweet. It's attractive. It's sexy. Um, one of the best. Mm. Not the best because nothing is better than Superman, mm -hmm. but one of the best from ah, okay. Jean-Paul Gaultier. Okay, so once again, you approve of my addiction. Just get this one, guys. Do not get it if you do not enjoy sweet fragrances, but otherwise you cannot go wrong with this one. One of my latest purchases was uh, La Belle Le Parfum oh. from Jean-Paul Gaultier, mm. and I, I got addicted. Addictive? Can I just stop saying addictive? You, I yeah. got addicted. Mm from yeah from the start mm. i bought this i opened this i think it was a fragrance hall mm. and then i put it on just sitting in the sofa and i was like oh my god yeah. i smell so good spray it on please this has a huge dose of pear it has tonka beans vanilla and jasmine and that simple sweet floral mix is just the best mm. are you still here <laughs> this wait 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 if he had a girlfriend yes. he would want her to yes. wear this yes, yes please yes please honestly i would not if i had a girlfriend and she had this one on i would not be able to stay away because <laughs> this just this just screams my name yeah yeah uh what i don't know <laughs> You are so weird. This one, this one has something truly addictive about it. It just, it does something to my brain. I cannot get enough of this one. I just love it. It's yeah. sweet in a really sexy and seductive way. And you just want more, 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 and more. Yeah. And I have always thought that um, Jean-Paul Gaultier made, makes, um, the best fragrances from the brand is for men mm. uh, and the women's are really really great mm. but the one for men are like out of this world mm. they are so good but actually this is the first one that i think is as good as the ones he makes for men ah yeah this is a beauty and i am hoping that there will be flankers to flankers to flankers to flankers yes. on this one because i need more oh do you what? hear hello rebel Oh, Rebel. <laughs> screaming my name again. I just love this one. I think this is an excellent choice. I'm addicted to this one as well. 
if you are looking for a super sexy, seductive, alluring, addictive, sweet fragrance with that pear note, then I mean, get this one like now. So next up is a recent addition to my collection, but I had my eyes set on it from the first mm -hmm. sniff, and that was quite a long time ago. It was, uh, it was like when it came out. Yeah, yeah, I've been waiting too long for this one, and the one I'm talking about is Angel's Share from Killian. I'm gonna say this is probably, this is probably at the top of my, what I'm addicted to the most. Yeah. This hat, please spray it on. This is so good. It oh has, God. it does something to me. I'm, I'm, tr I turn into like a, this is zombie. Like, uh, oh, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm saying when I'm a Whoa. zombie. I don't think I say anything. I was when I'm thinking zombie. like this is how a really attractive man smells. Attractive but I'm zombie. I'm not picturing please. a zombie. <laughs> and may I just add that. Um, Mm. I think we should just take a moment to admire your outfit today mm -hmm. because Thank you. you look like a man who's wearing this. Mm -hmm. Elegant, stylish and just perfect. Mm -hmm. It's like you dressed for this bottle today. Ah. And this scent. Thank you. Yeah, you're that welcome. That was a nice thing to say. Sometimes I'm nice. So, this one is boozy. It has a bit of cinema to it. Uh, it has a bit of like a gourmandish side. I believe yeah. it's like praline or something. Uh, I believe there's vanilla to it as well and a slight hint of woodiness. Yes. This one is like boozy, a gourmandy boozy. Yes. Let's put it that yes. way. And it's just intoxicating. It's addictive. Yeah. I cannot get enough. This is one where I, when I spray it, I'm like, um, how, how should I describe this? I'm almost... I'm, I'm almost in trance. <laughs> yeah. and, and if you have seen uh, the bloopers video, you know how he looks uh, when he's in yeah. trance, when he's spraying yeah. on the fragrance. Yeah, I, I, might, <laughs> I might cut that into... <laughs> But uh, I just, I just lose it with this one. Yes. So um, this, um, this smells like um, I'm not so into dessert wines, mm. but some of the dessert wines um, smell tastes like something I don't want to drink, but something I want to smell like. Mm. And this smells like an exclusive dessert wine. Mm -hmm. It has that sweet, fruity booziness mm. that I think is just amazing. So uh, what we, I think you asked me in another, in another video uh, if I felt that this was both for men and women, and I think it's as sexy on a woman as it is. It's just, it doesn't matter who wears this. It's oh. gonna smell sexy yes. as hell. Let's put it yes. that way. So yeah, you are addicted to it as well, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the next one. Get ready to go into another trance Whoa. or zombie state or something Bring because this is crazy good. What is it? Oriana oh. with marshmallows and mm. whipped cream. I mean, I mean, yeah. I don't even know what I'm going no. to say. This is crazy good. I just bought this one and I am so sad because I'm going to empty this so mm. soon. Oof, I got it's, away from it. I got oh my god. It. it has berries in the top like raspberries and black currant, but this is really about that marshmallow and the whipped cream. Mm. Wow. So um, there's something about, at least to me, something really addictive and sexy about the scent of whipped cream and marshmallow. Yeah. I have, I believe it's one Jean Paul Gaultier, I think it's Cabaret. Yeah, you have Cabaret, I have Pin Up, and they are quite similar. Yeah, and those I think have the note of marshmallow. Yes. And there's something intoxicating and unique about that scent. Uh, but when you combine marshmallow with that one, yeah. and then like add the powderness of this one and a bit of that sort of fruity sweetness, yeah. the result is like magic. It is. It sexy is. magic. Yes. So, I mean, this sexy, one... Addictive <laughs> sexy, addictive magic. Sexy, addictive magic. Sexy, addictive zombie making. Sexy, addictive... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is really powdery, sexy, 
fruity, sweet, and the sweetness is magical to me. Yes. Uh, I understand the addiction. I love this one as well. So is this just for uh, women? Is it for men as well? What do you think? Um, no, I actually think that men can wear it, mm. but this is just for me. Mm, this is just for her. You cannot buy this. Sorry. This is I'm sorry, but For, this is screaming my name. Forget that you ever name. saw this. This is screaming my name. Oh, I heard okay. someone say okay. something like that sometime. So, yeah, I agree. This is a fantastic one. So there you have it. Those were 12 fragrances that we are absolutely addicted to. Now, I would love to know which is your most favorite fragrance that you are insanely addicted to. You know the fragrance that when you put it on, you cannot stop sniffing yourself. You're in like heaven when you smell yourself. Uh, put it in the comment and let us know. Uh, please do drop a like on this video. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to head on over to Sandra Solomon Fragrances channel. I'm gonna put a link to her in the description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.